My name is Naftali Ferris and I'm from the Kansas City Public Library and today I'm reading And Tango Makes Three and I chose it because it's a lovely book about making your own family. Two penguins in the penguin house were a little bit different. One was named Roy and the other was named Silo. Roy and Silo were both boys, but they did everything together. They bowed to each other and walked together. They sang to each other and swam together. Wherever Roy went, Silo went too. They didn't spend much time with the girl penguins and the girl penguins didn't spend much time with them. Instead, Roy and Silo wound their necks around each other. Their keeper, Mr. Gasme, noticed the two penguins and thought to himself, they must be in love. Roy and Silo watched how the other penguins made a home so they built a nest of stones for themselves. Every night, Roy and Silo slept together, just like the other penguin couples. And every morning, Roy and Silo woke up together, but one day, Roy and Silo saw that other couples could do something they could not. The mama penguin would lay an egg, she and the papa penguin would take turns keeping the egg warm until finally it would hatch, and, there, and then there would be a baby penguin. Roy and Silo had no egg to sit on and keep warm. They had no baby chick to feed and cuddle and love. Their nest was nice, but it was a little empty. One day, Roy found something that looked like what the other penguins were hatching, and he laid it in their nest. It was a rock, and Silo carefully sat on it, and sat, and sat. When Silo got sleepy, he slept, and when Silo was done sleeping and sitting, he swam with, and Roy sat. Day after day, Silo and Roy sat on the rock, but nothing happened.